the whole story about United Airlines getting out and the guy getting pulled off the plane and everything is just tragic, if you ask me. It was a pretty horrific looking video. Yeah. I, I don't want to comment on that. Uh, say what you will about it. They shouldn't have handled it that way. That's I think that's all I really want to say about it. Yeah. But there's other stuff around all this that I've discovered. I start reading and you know how on the bottom it says, uh, since you read this article, you might be interested in this article. Mm-hmm. Um. Well, uh, there's an article in there about how this lady made $11,000 in one weekend because of overbooked flights. And that was the point of this whole story is that this person didn't want to give up his seat. They were offering lots of money for yeah. people to give up their seats. And yeah. that was the whole point of this United Airlines thing. But, you know, and it'd be different if they overbooked by a couple. I think they could get one or two people to come off the plane. Mm-hmm. But they were overbooked by many. Yeah. And there were families that needed to go and everything. The story that I read is about this uh, travel blogger. Uh, Her family was traveling. They had to leave Friday morning, same airline. And they were offered a certain amount of money to give up their airline flight till the next day. Mm. Their meals were covered. Their hotel was covered. They got cab rides. They came back Saturday morning, and then they were informed, sorry, we overbooked this flight, plus... We have all the people that we overbooked yesterday trying to get on this flight. Oh, bummer. What are we going to do now? Yeah. So mm. here's what we're going to do. We're going to give you a cab ride back to the hotel. We're going to pay for your hotel till Tuesday because that's the next flight that's open. Oh, darn. Okay. Yep. Um, but w- we'd like to offer you some money for your troubles. So they got offered. First of all, they made money. For the day before, now they're all offered fifteen hundred dollars, family of four each, each fifteen hundred each, because of their troubles. Wow! They're given the hotel voucher, they're given the cab voucher, um, they're also uh, given their money back for their tickets. For their tickets. Wow! So what happened was the family went and used the money. Oh, and they got food money. Mm-hmm. So they used the food money to eat. They made a decision. They stayed at the hotel. Sunday morning, they booked with another flight, and they flew out. <laughs> they go and book another, yeah. another airline. But not on, yeah, not on that airline. So wow. when all was said and done, she said they had $11,000. 11000 not $1,100, $11,000 for money one weekend. And cab fare and food and everything. With all so- the money that they didn't use. Wow. Yeah. So she said... I would have to work five weekends a year and I would make as much as I'm making now. And all I would have to do is sit in an airport and eat airport food because that's all, that's what they did. Yeah. But think about it. I would eat airport food Friday through Sunday. If I knew the rest of my year was going to be paid for, you could do whatever you want. I would do it. I would do it. But think about how many people are doing this already and not blogging about it. Yeah. So why are we, you know, uh, my brother, my aunt passed away a couple weeks ago. And my brother had to book all these flights and he found some flights that were almost nothing. Mm-hmm. Well, then, now that's just the flight. You pay for the flight. Now, if you want to sit in a seat, <laughs> the seat costs so much money. If you're going to bring a carry on, the carry on costs money. If you're going to bring a packed bag, the bag costs money. If See, you want to eat, the eats cost money. If you want to pop, the pop costs money. Oh, yeah, yeah. When all was said and done, it was worth going on another airline because he was already paying for everything. Now, that's great if all you're carrying is your swimsuit and you get on an airline and you sit on a seat. It's really, really cheap. But for somebody, a family, Mm -hmm. you got to book an airline and you're talking $800 to $1,000 a seat plus the hotel when you get down there and everything. So are we paying for them to give away money is my question. It sure sounds like it. Yeah. Yeah. It sure sounds like it. How much do you pay? Uh, when, last time you booked a flight, how much did it cost you? Well, sadly, I haven't been on a plane since I was 11 years old. Well, how much did it cost you when you were 11? <laughs> I couldn't tell you. <laughs> did the caveman next to you say anything? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get out much. I don't get out much. Moses okay. was bringing his Ten Commandments on the plane. Don't worry. Yes. When we land, I got a big job to do. Um, Fred, well, Fred and Barney, right? Yeah. Fred Flintstone. <laughs> Tim Turner didn't yeah. take off the plane; they had to stick their feet out the bottom. Yes. <laughs> we had the dinosaur, and we walked down this back to get on the plane. Yes.
<laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I've flown just about every year. Okay. And it's anywhere from 500 to 1,000 to fly. And I'm talking, uh, I flew to Phoenix, I flew to Florida. So that's quite a bit of money when mm-hmm. you're talking family of four. Mm-hmm. So why can't they just not overbook? Because, you maybe, know, we Maybe hear, they don't know how to count. I don't know what it is. Because, uh, you know, the government <laughs> bailed out the airlines already because mm-hmm. they were losing money. Well, why are they losing money? Is it because they aren't selling enough seats or is it because they're giving away all this money to people because they're overbooking? Mm-hmm. You know, would it be better to just fly the airplane the way it is for the ones that don't sell enough? Mm-hmm. I, I understand they overbook because some people just don't show up and they can give away their seat and that way they cover the money. They make the money for the person that doesn't show up. They make the money. For, you know, I get it. Yeah. But all the money that they give away, isn't it? Wouldn't it be better to just book right up till when they're closed? And then the planes that aren't selling out either get rid of that flight or take the loss. Wouldn't it be better? <laughs> Than to avoid all of this all the, bad media yeah, press and have yeah. to go and issue these statements and yeah, cause they yeah. all do it. It's not. I'm not just picking on United Airlines. They all do it. They all overbook and then they all have to do these things and give out vouchers and hand out money and give you a hotel. Happened to me when I was in Chicago. They overbooked. We took the overbook. We got to stay. You know, they said you can stay in a hotel. You can do this. Pay mm-hmm. for your lunch and yeah. Others seem to handle it better than United, though, it seems like. I agree with that. We haven't read about Northwest Airlines pulling some uh, parked guy off the plane yet. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Could have been handled better, it seems like. But. You would think that we would hear more about, like, people being beat up and taken off the flight in Vegas, you know, like, you know, owing money and they come back for him or something like that. <laughs> yeah. That would make sense to me. But What happens here stays here. Yeah, they'll say, hey, yo, we're, we're going to take him <laughs> off the plane, all right? I would get that, you know. He's in those for 12. You know, I would understand that. <laughs> but I'm sorry. And, and they picked the wrong guy. Yeah, he was a doctor. Yeah. Now, the question I have is, I would hate to be the cop. Um, He was kind of stuck in the middle there. He was stuck in the middle. You still can refuse to do it, but I would think that if they told him, you're fired if you don't do this, and if you you go, fine, I'm not going to do it, you're fired. Mm -hmm. I mean, no matter what, you're looking at being fired. But do you really have to beat the guy up? Yeah, yeah, he was, yeah. Until the full story comes out, we don't know. So we're just speculating at this point. But yeah. um, Many different ways that it could have been handled, yes. for sure. So yeah. And that, that's all and, we should say. As Forrest Gump would say, that's all I have to say about that. 